our tale of the tape for this killer feature bout. Edson Barboza will be 30 next month. Tony Ferguson is 31. Both men 5 foot 11 inches tall. Barboza weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. Ferguson 156. El Kukui has a reach advantage of one and a half inches. We go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter, holy professional record. 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California. Presenting the ultimate fighter season 13 winner and the number seven ranked lightweight contender in the world, Tony. El Kukui Ferguson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Novo Freiburgo, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number six ranked lightweight contender in the world, Edson Junior Barboza! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, John McCarthy. Big John McCarthy, our referee, the beautiful Vanessa Hansen with us for this Ultimate Fighter finale, Edson Barboza. And fellow top right, 10 go. lightweight, Tony Ferguson. Get up! Finally collide tonight. Ferguson in the white trunks immediately taking the center of the octagon. Barboza is in the black. And Ferguson wants relentless pressure to get inside of that kick range. So he's going to get back to his roots as a wrestler in this fight and take away the kick bar. So that's in Barboza. But Mark Henry talked about the boxing of Edson Barboza, how sharp it is. You're seeing that right now as he may have stunned Tony Ferguson, who beautiful rolls. Going for a knee bar attempt. I didn't think we'd see that until Ryan Hall fights next. We have not hit the fast forward button. This is real speed between two of the best lightweights in the world. Nice hammer fist there by El Kukui. Barboza, he is hammering him here from this position. He got hard, hard strikes. What a frame for this division for Tony Ferguson. Nice elbow to the side of the head. Talk about an awkward position to be an effective striker out of it. Tony Ferguson using it and using it well. Man, I, I, I can't get over when you evaluate the tape, the innovation of this young man, Tony Ferguson. I mean, just fantastic. Some of the things he tries and accomplishes inside the octagon. You can see Edson Barbosa's power and his crisp hands got the attention of Tony Ferguson early. That's, not That's legal. illegal. And Barboza's rocked. He's rocked bad. Oh, no. Not hurt. Come on. Look at me. Stand up. Relax. Illegal shot. You can get a look at the eyes of Edson Barboza. Watch, she gets up here. He stumbles a little bit. Oh, I hope this doesn't end this fight. Now for a referee. Oh, sure. He needs to weigh the intent and the effect of the strike before deciding whether or not to take a point away. We're going to bring in our senior VP of Regulatory Affairs. Mark, what do you think? I know John McCarthy's got to weigh intent and effect. What do you do here? Absolutely. Uh, that was a, an illegal kick uh, to a downed opponent. And uh, he can't take a point away. It, it would be, and he is. To judgment, he's taking a point away. Got to do it because when he looks Barboza in the eyes, he sees that there was a definite effect to the illegal strike. Thank you very much, Mark Ratner. Absolutely great call by John McCarthy, and just grateful that Edson Barboza can continue here for what is just an incredible matchup. Oh, a beautiful Barboza. body shot ripped by Barboza, but he eats a right hand from Ferguson. Ooh. Every time I cringe when this guy lands a kick. And you can see, this is the pressure Ferguson talked about. He wanted to be in his face. Nice left hook from Barboza. I mean, both of these guys are stunning each other. Barboza rips the body once more. Two furious minutes off the round one clock. 
And the work with Mark Henry paying off. He's attacking the body very well so far. And again, Ferguson rolling for a leg, denied by Edson Barbosa. Barbosa continuing to target the body of Tony Ferguson. Oh, very Ferguson nice whips. body shot and pivot out by Barbosa. And there you can see Ferguson throws a lot of tricks. Hey, he touches the floor, tries to come back to an uppercut. Ferguson very good off his back, not just with submissions, but finding strikes. And you got to look at that early when he was landing those hammer fists. And there we showed you that in that breakdown. Tony Ferguson constant with the stance switches. Very effective at doing that, making you guess and delaying if you want to attack his legs or set up a takedown. Under two minutes to go in round one. Ferguson non-stop with forward pressure, but a beautiful left hand lands for Barboza. Barboza can generate so much power. Oh, but he eats a big right hand there. Lands one of his own. Woo! Vintage Edson Barboza here. Ferguson, though, follows up with a kick up top. And this fight is living up to everything we hoped it would be. So far, Barboza dealing pretty well with the pressure of Tony Ferguson. He lands another nice left hand. That left hand has been there all night for Edson Barboza, very even in terms of the total strikes landed as we go under a minute to go in round one. You know, this is what Mark Henry expected. He thought that Ferguson would fight Barboza like Michael Johnson did with real, a lot of pressure, get inside. Improvements made by Barboza to deal with that pressure so far as he struck and pivoted out. Oh, and a nice spinning back kick to the body. There are just so few guys in the history of the sport that can do that with that type of speed and power. I don't know of any in this sport. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm trying to think back in my mind if there's anybody who throws those kicks that fast without telegraph and with that kind of power. I mean, Edson Barbosa really brought the spinning heel kick into MMA. A lot of guys were afraid to throw it before he landed on Terry Edel. This crowd enjoying the striking display from both men, particularly Edson Barboza, who lands again towards the tail end of round one. Ready? Ready? Tony, Tony Ferguson want more pressure. Get inside more. Ooh. Ducks down, blocked it, but man, I don't care what these kicks hit. It does some damage. Nice body kick of his own, though, from Ferguson. Ferguson continues to come forward in the face of that power and pressure. Nice elbow. Oh, but he eats one of his own as he comes in. Look at the cut. Look at the cut Ferguson opened up with that upward left elbow he used to enter. Beautifully timed. You hear Mark Henry wants Barboza after every combination to finish with a jab. Keep this guy off. Ferguson having a hard time seeing out of that left eye. Oh, nice left hook followed up by a jab. Beautiful combination from Tony Ferguson. These guys chasing some bonus money tonight. God, I love this job. <laughs> Beautiful, again, the, the attacks from the bottom. Ferguson uses his grappling to get himself in positions to hurt you with strikes, open up chances for submissions. And we needed an Iceman cam, Octagon side, to see Chuck Liddell's reactions to every strike being landed. Under three and a half minutes to go in round two. Both guys wearing it now. Uh, Chuck's getting fired up. When he gets fired up, he tends to hit people. I'm glad you're sitting closer to him than I am, John. <laughs> Nice angle before he shot the right hand in there by Ferguson. Oh! 
Massive right hand lands flush for Barboza, and then he follows it up with a left. Oh, beautiful timing by Ferguson. Saw it coming, which is not easy to do. You see, Barboza starting to breathe a little heavier. Oh, beautiful spinning back elbow. Great diversity by Tony Ferguson. Just never know what he's throwing next, what stance he's gonna be in. Shot from Barboza. Good job by Ferguson to defend. Excellent scramble, and now he's going for the darts. He's got a wicked, wicked darts choke with those long arms. Barbosa very solid on the ground as well, but he was breathing heavy. Good defense so far. Ferguson's got oh, he's got it. He's Tony got it. Ferguson has done it again. The winning streak is at seven. What a fight by two of the best lightweights on the planet. We all got to witness it tonight. As anticipated as our main event, it lived up to the hype and then some. Well, you can basically show the entire fight as the highlight, but here's the takedown attempt for Barbosa. Beautiful scram by Tony Ferguson. Looks for the front headlock. Barbosa shakes him up, immediately switches to the darts. A choke he is known for. And as Barbosa defends, pushes away the hips, separates away and gets some space, Ferguson still able to generate enough torque to finish this. Gorgeous technique from Tony Ferguson. God, this guy is dangerous. Look at this, look at how tight that is. Forces Barboza to tap. What an outstanding fight. We will wrap it up with the official decision and talk to Tony Ferguson after this. Back in Las Vegas, Nevada, nobody sitting down inside the Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan as we continue with the Ultimate Fighter finale on FS1. We now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a darts choke, Tony El Kakui Ferguson. Thank you guys, I love you, Grandma. Back at home, GFX Sports, I love you guys. My wife, Christina, my onboard baby, I love you.